a bear's cut to a 10-year low its forecast for world sugar prices, citing improved production prospects in the likes of the European Union and India, which have enhanced the prospects for a world output surplus. The official Australian Commodities Bureau lowered by 2.0 cents a pound to 13.0 cents a pound its forecast for the average price of spot New York raw sugar futures in 201,718 on an October to September basis. The downgrade which would mean prices averaging their lowest since the 11.7 cents a pound seen in 200,708Y implied a fall in futures from current levels, with the New York October raw contract sugar contract trading on Tuesday at 14.28 cents a pound. The futures curve would suggest an average 201,718 price of 14.815.0 cents a pound. However, Averis said its outlook reflects world sugar production increasing at a faster rate than previously expected. Global supply is expected to grow faster than demand during 201,718, leading to this significant fall in price from the 17.0 cents a pound penciled in for the season. India, he you upgrades, indeed, a bear is raised by 2.8 meters tons to 5.8 meters tons, its forecast for the rebuild in world sugar supplies over 201,718, reflecting in part a higher estimate for global production. The upgrade was down largely to a one-ton increase to around 27 meters tons in the forecast for Indian output, thanks to a boost to yield prospects this year from better monsoon rains, and with a raised cane price lifting the output outlook too. The Bureau noted that the Indian government increased its fair and remunerative price for cane in 201,718 by around 11 percent to 255 rupees a quintal, around 4 cents a kilogram. The EU sugar output forecast was raised by some 800,000 tons to a 12-year high of 20 meters tons, on a raw value basis, thanks to the surge in beet plantings prompted by the removal of production quotas. Health concerns by contrast, a bear is lowered by some 1 meter ton to 185 meters tons its forecast for world consumption in 201,718, highlighting the prospect of declining demand in many Western countries. Consumption is expected to continue to fall in the EU and the US because of long-term declines in the population growth rate, as well as trends in diet and nutrition policies driven by health concerns. The Bureau trimmed by 21,000 tons to 4.80 meters tons, its forecast for Australian output in 201,718, on a gelido June basis flagging a hit to cane yields from continued dry seasonal condition in the south of Queensland, the center of the country's sugar industry. It also restated the damage to cane crops from tropical cyclone Debbie in March. The forecast for Australian sugar exports in 201,718, again on a gelido June basis, was trimmed by 17,000 tons to 4.05 meters tons y unchanged year on year.